to page 10, Done and Dusted. These are the duets for uh, Claire de Lune and Old MacDonald. And then we'll take a little bit of time at the end of the video to introduce page 10, which puts down third finger. So let's go ahead and get started with our pre-recorded stuff. Here's the metronome. And I will play your part, the recorded part, plays the duet part. One, two, three, four, two, two, ready, play. Oh, so we'll go on to Old MacDonald. So here's Old MacDonald. One, two, three, four, one, two, ready, play. <laughs> to page 11. Let me slide that book over and let's look at this one for just a moment. So we are now going to do all four strings and open string E, first finger F sharp, second finger high is G sharp, then third finger on your tape or friends or an octave above open A, whatever um, way that you're doing that. If you have tapes, just put third finger down on the tape. This is all with high second finger. This is the A string, sorry, E string, A string, D string, and G string. So we're doing all four strings open first, high second, third finger. It's a pattern, I know. And it's easy to get caught in patterns with your brain of like, oh, this is easy, I can just do this. We have still those three, if I can harp on that a little bit. You're listening, you're looking, and you're saying the notes out loud, and you're feeling where they are in your instrument. There's um, tactile, auditory, and um, visual learning that we're using here. And I wanna make sure that you do all of those. So we're saying the note out loud, playing it on your instrument. And then we're also, we've got mostly quarter notes, then one long whole note to get your bow down to the next playing level. And um, playing on your bow and playing. So you're on the um, E string playing, P-L-A-N-E of your bow, and then the A string playing of your bow. So make sure that your bow is really set on the E string, really set on the A string for the whole pull bow, pull of the bow. And that will be something that will help you over time. So let's do the E string up to A, and I'll do this a little bit with you, and then the rest of your practice will be by yourself. But So open E, this is measure one, twice. Then F sharp twice. G sharp and A. 
and then you come back down and do that a few times. Now let's skip to measures six, seven. So we've got a long bow and then a whole note here. So A, E, two, three. Now just roll your arm down and your shoulder down to the A string, do a long bow. Make sure you're set. This is gonna set your bow pole. Make sure you're parallel to the bridge on that bow pole. And then we're gonna go two A's. A, B, B, C sharp, and D two. So that's your A notes. Then we're going to skip down to measure 12, 13, 14, 15. We're gonna play that long A. And then a long D to set up your D string playing. Make sure you're not ticking other strings. Make sure you're so not getting that sound or you're getting that sound. So make sure it's still a good tone. So D, two, Three, four, now D, E, F sharp, and G. And that's your D string. Now let's skip down to where we start on the D or G string. So let's play this long D. Go back and uh, stay on the G. And then go G, G. looking at these and learn these in your head. I want you to be able to then come back at a, a, a later video and I point here and, and you say that's a D, that's an E, that's a C sharp, that's an A. So that you have no hesitation with this. It's in long-term memory and you don't even have to think about it. So that's your introduction to the top of page 11. Let's go down and learn about half steps and whole steps. So I'm going to bring out the magnifying glass. So this is, let me make sure in my video we've got this at a good angle so you can see. So we have B natural to C. We've learned a lot of other half steps Half step definition is a note that the fingers are touching on violin. It's the next nearest note. I'm going to direct you a little bit to piano keys because piano is a really way, good way to see how this works exactly. So on the piano you have the ivory keys and you have the ebony keys. And you see that the ebony keys are two, then three, then two, then three is a pattern and the white keys are either in between an ebony key or they have no ebony key in between them and it's two ivory keys together. So we had, if we, this is middle C, then we have a black key, D, black key, E, no black key. So E to F is a natural half step. There's no sharps, no flats in between them. They, if you say E to F, it's always a half step. Then we go E, F, G, A, B. Then B to C has no black ivory key or um, ebony key in front of, in between it. So that is also a natural half steps. It's important for you to know that our alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G is encompasses two areas where there is not a half step in between them. So 
E and F is a natural half step, and B to C is a natural half step. Now, on violin, we don't learn B to C just yet in this book. We're we're going we're learning B to C sharp, but but we do learn B to C on the G string. So um, I'm sorry, I meant E to F. We don't learn yet. We're going to learn that later, but we do learn B to C. So if you look at your music um, in the natural half steps, B on the G string and to C, B is a half step. Now, a whole step is that where there is a finger in between or a space in between. On the piano, there's actually a key in between there. We don't have that, but we have either a space or no space in our fingers on violin. So if you look at the natural whole steps on the next one, if you're doing open string to your first finger, that is a whole step because in the future you're going to learn that there's another note in between the open string and your first finger tape. Then second finger is a whole step away because there's also a note here, which we will learn later. So G to A is a whole step, A to B natural, B is a whole step, B to C then is a half step, but third finger always to the next highest open string, third finger to C to open D is a whole step. And that's because eventually you're going to learn that either there's a high third finger or a fourth finger that goes down next to third finger. So a third finger to open string is a whole step, always. So let's play um, natural whole steps where we go G, A, whole step, G, A, 